120 feet to start. We're at a, where he, this is the wing wall that we talked about on the southern side. We're across from where we were earlier. And right down here, three feet wide or so, is the fish ladder. Exactly, Bob. Now tell us what happens here. You built the inside and so that it, there's like a channel through here. Yes, well it acted as one of the walls at the same time for the fish ladder. And of course this was one of the requirements when I applied for the permit to build the, uh, uh, the lake. Uh, DEC, uh, the only way the DEC would approve the, uh, the, the permit is that if I would have uh, uh, approve of building the fish ladder, and of course at that time I had so much money. And, uh, so anyway, um, uh, uh, this is why uh, uh, Charlie Gardefee from DEC will always tell you that uh, Sam Trombley built the first fish ladder in Region 5. Let me just interrupt you a minute and mention to you that Calvin is sitting straddling this uh, wing wall Yes. Wing wall here. And uh, some of the pictures may look like they're sideways as he goes up to the, the high part, of course, is to his left or, and to your left. And then it goes down in a series of maybe six inches each. Uh, 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 12 inches. The 12 inches. 12 inches. And yep. you see there's a cutout in the plywood yes and now tell us what happens with a fish how does a fish well, go up the ladder well uh, as, as you see the cutouts are a diamond shaped cutout and as the fish comes up like uh, uh, september you know is when they start spawning and between each bay they're approximately two feet apart and they can stop within uh, each bays and spawn as they're uh, as they're coming entering the lake now spawning is laying their eggs exactly now then they can lay their eggs then they go back down again uh whatever they want to do uh, either it's go okay back with down. you anything they want to do you let them do it <laughs> no, huh? i don't argue oh, with all them. right i guess probably the other thing i want to mention is that uh it's designed in such a manner is that this fish ladder will never go dry uh the uh the spillway is at an elevation to where this fish ladder will always take there'll always be 12 inches of water going if the, we get a, uh, a dry season. Okay. And then these fish come up here uh, once a year, right? Is yes, it once a year? or whenever, you know, like in the spring, if yep. you drop them off, uh, stop the river uh, downstream, they can come right on up. Through. And they would lay their eggs here, and they'll go downstream. Now, why don't they lay their eggs downstream instead of fighting this current? I have, I don't have the answer. Uh, I never got into that. I, I, you know, that's out of my category, but I'm sure DEC could answer yeah. those Do they questions. die after they spawn? Sometimes well, ours, they don't. I, I know Trouts that. Trouts don't. I probably. You know, so. I know they fight very. You know the salmon will fight through it as water only three inches deep and go yeah. fighting up and fight the bear and fight the fishermen yeah. to go upstream to spawn. Yeah. And that's quite a current going down. And I was mentioning that if oh, yeah. you uh, come out to try to go up one more ladder, you could get washed all the way down before you could stop. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned the current. As I failed to mention, uh, my intentions uh, wasn't only for a recreational area. Uh, I built the dam, it was my intention to generate my own power, uh, but then when the uh, DEC uh, uh, requested uh, or demanded the fish ladder, that took the monies that I had, uh, you know, put set aside uh, for my generation project, so, and I never did get enough money uh, <laughs> put aside to put in my generation uh, system. In, in my first, in my first uh, life, right. I was a fish. Yeah? Yep, and, and when I got to a fish ladder like this, I didn't follow up through those openings. I jumped the plywood each time, and I could go about eight. Then I was tired out, and I then I'd spawn. Well, <laughs> I see you have the metal things. Are they loose in there? Yes, where I can pull the baffles if I need to replace them. Okay, they like can... uh, like in the spring we get the big runoffs. So you'll get uh, logs that will come down through here. And uh, right here, just a week ago, I had to replace. Well, you'll see the new ones. Yes, it's there. four down in the bottom. Yes. Now, uh, do you have some kind of a strainer or something? Uh, right there, you'll see the uh, the uh, the rack. Okay, so that's metal, and yeah. that 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 stops big chunks of ice yeah. and or logs from coming down yeah. and uh, yeah. causing a lot of damage. Yeah. But like the spring with the with the with the real big uh, uh, saw that we had in the high waters. I mean, the water was right up over the uh, right over the wing wall here. And, and so it allowed the logs yeah. to go down. See, I thought that they went all the way up the ladder and tried to go up into the higher, deeper water and then go upstream further, but they don't. They, they're, they're spawning in the ladder itself. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Or I'm sure there's some that will they, spawn. Okay. Uh, but because of the movement, uh, uh, because of the movement, you know, it adds... Right, uh, yep. Movement. So this is probably your first fish ladder. 
It's my first fish ladder to see. Yeah. All right, Sam, what else have we got to see? We've seen just uh, about most of your operation. I guess that's, that's about the extent. Now, you don't have a motel with your unit at all. No. Had you ever thought of that? Well, no, they got the motels right down the road, La okay. Bears, and, right. uh, you know, you don't run competition uh, with your own business people. And, yep. Uh, all right, we'll take a short break and be back. And here's the other end of the what will be the suspension ladder yes, uh, uh, bridge. Yes. Uh, wouldn't that be there nice right now? It would save us a mile and a half to exactly. walk back around. Exactly, you got it, Bob. <laughs> but we're uh, not going to wait here until it's done. Uh, it won't take me long to build. Will I you do that design. this year? Oh, yes. Uh, I want to build it. Uh, see that flat line over there? I'll build it. And then when the, when the water freezes over, then I'll slide it across. And, uh, what will that be constructed of, metal? Uh, 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 steel and cable. Uh, that's why I got the steel columns. The cable uh -huh. will be running overhead, and it's going to be 10 feet high. Uh, it will be uh, 4 feet below the wing wall, uh -huh. and I'll still have a 4-foot uh, uh, clearance between, uh, between, the, uh, between the, uh, the water and the bottom of the, uh, of the bridge. So uh, it will never uh, rise. I, uh, the lake has been here now for 20 years, and I know the highest elevation. It'll never come up over four okay. feet over the spillway, so four foot is my safe. Uh, All right, uh, we'll, uh, we'll let we'll let Calvin get up here. I want to ask a question then, just over the side of your dam, and he, we'd like yeah. to get a picture of it. I saw, and I wanted Calvin to take a picture of it. Those little teeth that are on the bottom side of the dam. Oh, uh, okay. Look like fingers. What are those, yep. Sam? Uh, they're uh, they're uh, concrete um, um, uh, teeth, I guess is the proper, uh, and what that's for is so that when the ice comes over the spillway, it's to break, uh, it's to break up the ice. Uh, they're 12 inch on center. You'll see there's some that got uh, mm -hmm. uh, displaced there, but I'll be replacing those. Right. And, and, right. and, and, and then it also uh, builds up a, a water, uh, as you can see, you know. Yep which generates now oxygen. I see that there's a hole in some of the dam the water's coming no, through. no no it, it just it, looks that way it, it looks that way All right now uh, is there much maintenance on a dam like this well I haven't had in 19 years no maintenance no but, pretty hard uh, to stop the water while you're working on it so, well I have my gate here and oh you uh, can let everything come through here yeah uh, but there again you know you cannot uh, 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 take all the water out but uh, look little uh, emergency uh, uh -huh. replacements like the fish ladder you know, you're, I, I can open up the gate yeah. and drop it down enough to where uh, right. I can if, do some If repair. you open that gate, do you have to tell anybody downstream? Do you have to get permission or anything? Uh, from DEC, yes. You uh, would, huh? Oh, because yeah. they, they know that the oh, water yeah. would be oh, a yeah. lot different all exactly. of a sudden. Okay. Exactly. You can see the water rushing out here next to the ladder. It really rushes out. Yeah. Oh, no, we got a good current. Well, it's a great Chazy River, you know. Yep. It, it is a great Chazy. Great yeah. Chazy, too. Yeah. We hope you people in Chazy, Altona. Moors, Moors Forks, and all other uh, yeah. uh, stations east and south of Ellenberg are enjoying this show with a, a person that is of very much interest to many people, a fixture in the northern tier. He's like Larry Paquette. Everybody know, knew uh, him and knows yeah. him, Sam Trombley. <laughs> well, Larry and I worked uh, many years together on the Board of Legislature. He taught me a lot also, and uh, uh, he's definitely a guy that we'll never forget. Nope. We were saying that the other day when they opened up the uh, the Miramar shopping yeah. that uh, Don Garrett was up and mentioned it. Larry would be very proud of seeing that opening in his yeah. uh, in his area. Yeah. And Larry would never miss. He'd always be up here at least once a week and uh, talking we, with you. Oh yes. uh, yeah, yeah. Him and uh, 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 Mrs. Paquette, Celine, and uh, yep. We had a very good relationship. Well, we've certainly taken a lot of your time today, it Sam. It was a pleasure, believe me. Uh, we hope you enjoy this yourself while you watch this in years to come months to come if you want to watch yourself that much oh, and you can see me at the same time and uh, I hope the, the whole family enjoys it we hope all you people here in Ellenberg and again welcome to new channels and particularly channel 21 hometown cable brought to you by Calvin and Sam Castine and I say Sam Calvin is the owner of hometown cable and Sam does a lot of the uh, camera work uh, the rest of us are volunteers I volunteer and I can't think of a better way to spend the day except I would rather be out of the sun right, right now. <laughs> well, on behalf of my family, my wife, uh, we appreciate having you, and I hope I can purchase a tape for the future uh, grandchildren, great grandchildren. And, uh, well, when when uh, when this goes to a legislator, there are uh, three times the normal price. Calvin, is that what it is? Because they're they're politicians, and uh, the Republicans they pay four times as much. <laughs> well, something like this is worth it's, it's worth, worth it. The price, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Listen, that we'll close it off right here, I guess. Is that all right, Calvin? Uh, here we're at the uh, Ranchside Park Campgrounds, just across uh, from Northern Adirondack Central School in uh, beautiful downtown Ellenburg Corners. Uh, and uh, it's been a delightful, well, it's uh, 20 after 2. We've been here for about four hours and a half, and we've got probably two hours of tape. And we thank you very much, Sam, and your, and your wife. We thank you, Bob. Anytime. Pleasure. We're on every Sunday. Don't forget, uh, Hometown Cable is on every day at the same hours, 1 o'clock, 4.30, 8 p.m., midnight, and uh, 8 the following morning. If you want to hear what I've got to say, and, and people that I talk to and meet, it's on every Sunday, those four times, and then again on Monday morning at 8 a.m. And we thank you for your comments, and we thank you for recognizing us when we're in stores and so forth. It's always nice to know that someone out there is watching, because we never know for sure, Sam. I'm sure.